St George Management Field Day was held in March 2022 and it made a stop along the way at Saunders Farming to talk about bankless channel irrigation systems. In this video, we're talking to a couple of the growers who went along to find out what they hope to learn. My name's Scott Brimcombe, I'm from St George, I'm an irrigator and a cotton grower. I uh, just wanted to keep up to date with what's currently happening with the um, bankless irrigation technologies. Um, particularly automation, I really want to get into the automation side of things and uh, the advanced sensors um, and automation back to the padment gear, that's where I'm really interested in. I believe that there's a real water efficiency if we can get into automation. We've currently about 80% uh, bankless, we've just got one field to go. Um, we're hoping to get that done this winter um, and we'll be fully bankless next year, we won't have a siphon left. Um, and on top of that, some of the existing banks that we're already running, I'm hoping to have some of that running into automation next year, um, just to get our further water efficiencies out of the bank. Labour savings as well, I'm sure you won't be too sad to get rid of those siphons. <laughs> I've got a staff member who's worked for us for about 44 years and he's very happy to see the <laughs> siphons go. He's the one really pushing for, the, to, for us to complete the, um, the bankless um, work and to get, get the whole farm into bankless. There's a lot to it. You don't have to put the head work in, you don't have to put the siphons out, you don't have to collect the siphons, you don't have to start the siphons, uh, you don't have to count the siphons down the end of the road to find out how many are through, uh, you don't have to put a flag in, you don't have to go up the top end and try to figure out where the flag is so you can figure out where you can pull the siphons out. Oh, I know a few, a few of the people that come today are um, growers in the local area that still aren't convinced on the bankless and, and why they should go to it. Um, so it's great just to show them they can come and see um, exactly what's going on here. It's been a very wet year here um, and I guess it's been a good test for the, the system, for the flatter grades on the tail drain end with such a wet season. Uh, I know a few people have a bit of a worry of uh, waterlogging and, and water sitting um, in this design, but um, yeah, all the years it's going to show up, it's going to be this year and it hasn't, so um, great for them to come and see that and yeah, just to see that, yeah, it's, it's running really well. Uh, water water is, a, is our limiting factor, so that's probably our most important. Um, so if we can get further with the same amount of water, well that's, that's, that's probably the biggest saving, but then yeah, if we can save on equipment and uh, people, then that's, that helps us as well. So. So I'm Mitch Humphreys from Moree, come up to have a look. Um, always looking at the way other people are doing things and, and looking at how we can improve our system in the future. So you've got siphons at your place. Is bankless something that you'd like to look at one day, do you reckon? It, Definitely and... anything that, that improves our irrigation efficiency and, and, and also reduces our labour costs and, and reliability. Um, something to look at so yeah bankless is definitely on the, on the table so is that anything that you learn in particular about today about it or that, that surprised you or anything like that uh no it's just more just looking at the, the way this system works compared to sort of the way that systems have been built in the water um just comparing the way they work different soil types of infiltration and stuff like that so it's, it's more about just putting the pieces of the puzzle together before we, we make any sort of capital decisions. Totally different soil type to what we deal with here. So um, while this system works well here, it may not at home, but um, yeah, unless we look at these systems and, and the crops they're producing, we, we sort of don't have anything to gauge off. So.